On a beautiful sun-drenched day at the foot of the Rockies, the Mountain West and Valley collide as the Falcons of the Air Force Academy beat the Wichita State Shockers. A pleasant good afternoon, one and all. Bruce Hurdle along with Craig Stephen here at Clune Arena on the campus of the Air Force Academy. Wichita State going on the road, and lately, Craig, that's been just fine with them. Now, wins on the road are expected with this basketball team, and they take a ton of pride in doing it. 21-3. and three over the last two seasons. Best road record in the country. In Air Force, the Shockers are facing a team that's won six of seven to match their best ever start. Your Pizza Hut starting lineups when we come back to the Air Force Academy. We do it all with professional care. From service to glass and body repair. With free loaner cars in three locations. We're problem solvers. We don't keep you waiting. So when your car ain't what it should be, we go to work. We roll up our sleeves. No disaster we can't master. Auto master. No disaster we can't master. Auto masters. Beauty, huh? Dependable, long lasting too. Yeah, I could really use this Silverado. I'm a big hunter. Oh, what do you hunt? Deer, fish. I just said deer <laughs> for no reason, <laughs> but I meant fish. Visit buyachevytoday.com. This holiday season, trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado All Star Edition for 0% APR financing for 60 months plus $2,000 cash allowance, or get a total value of $9,000. Join Red Wing Shoes for the 7th Annual Santa Blowout Sale, Saturday, December 8th. All boots, 25% off. That's right, steel-toed boots, men and women's casuals, plus so much more. Take an additional $10 off clearance footwear, already reduced up to 50% off, plus accessories, 20% off. Enjoy free refreshments and door prizes and register to win tickets, and the first 100 people get a free pair of quality Red Wing socks with purchase. The Santa Blowout Sale is one day only. Savings can't be beat. Doors open at 10 a.m. Red Wing Shoes, located at 6600 West Kellogg. My husband never used to talk on the phone, but now that we're saving $10 a month with Cox Digital Telephone... Hello? Hi, I'm saving $10 every month. Hey, $10 every month. Now maybe she can quit that dead-end job. Honey, I'm expecting a call from my boss, so... Oh, could... this is your boss. I'm saving $10 every month. Who are you talking to? It's a wrong number. What do they want? Nothing. I called them. Get Cox Digital Telephone for just $9.99 a month with free pro installation and save $10 every month. Switch to Cox today. Welcome back to Clune Arena on the campus of the Air Force Academy, Wichita State 7-0, just outside the national rankings. Their Pizza Hut starting lineups with Ahime Rupe out of the lineup for the second straight game with a foot injury. Curly Anthony early starting in his stead, the club's leading scorer. Carl Hall has been in double figures in scoring for all seven of his games. For the Air Force Academy at 6-1, Michael Lyons averaging nearly 22 points a game. Todd Fletcher, one of the nation's top assist to turnover ratio. Air Force, a team that loves the three we're ready for hoops keys to the game and tip coming up One, two. Party moving, dial it, but light together again with Pitbull. Here we go. Ready to travel? Wichita Mid-Continent Airport makes it convenient with a variety of great airlines and destinations. In fact, with only one stop to over 400 cities, you can relax, enjoy the flight, and arrive faster. Get going to sandy beaches, snow-covered mountains, or experience the big city life. Our popular low fare carriers make it a breeze. Check out tips to make traveling even more convenient at flywichita.com. Watch us. Watch us. 
Veteran official Scott Thornley will toss it, and Air Force will open possession. Shockers will open man-to-man. Air Force will play a 2-3 matchup zone. Air Force, Coach Pilipovich is going to run his version of the Princeton offense. You're going to see a lot of movement. Four guys around one. They're going to play high and wide. They want to get the ball, and they want to push it up and score early. If they can't, they're going to get into their sets, but they want to score fast, and this team likes to shoot the three. You're going to have to guard the perimeter. Bruce, you're right. They're going to play a ton of zone. They're going to play a lot of matchup zone. That's the majority of their zone. If guys are going to cut, they're going to follow that person through and rotate over in their zone. We'll see a little bit of 2-3, but they really rely on that matchup zone. Told you that Scott Thornley is running this crew. John Higgins and David Hall. So you've got Final Four experience all over the court tonight. And the men in stripes. Queen Anthony Early misses his first offering up, and on the offensive glass, Carl Hall with the game's first score. Yeah, Mike Fitzgerald, he's gonna have to get a body and get Carl Hall outside of the paint. He's a beast, in the, it, it, and he works down low hard, and that's what he does. He goes and gets offensive glasses and puts it up. Evan Wessel right now has drawn Michael Lyons. He's trying to post up inside of 20 to shoot. Ron Baker working against Mike Fitzgerald, and Fitzgerald beats him at the paint. Air Force, a team coming in, shooting a high percentage, 52%. 6-1 on that season. Their lone loss, an 89-74 loss to Colorado. Now this is a team that really values the basketball. Just over 10 turnovers a game. They distribute it pretty well. But defensively, you can see how much they cut. And that's a play right there. They'll throw that back door pass if it doesn't even look open. They're going to throw it knowing the defense has their back to them. A great feed. Todd Fletcher with the finish. Second straight game that Wichita State is facing a product of Lee Summit West out of Lee Summit, Missouri. Three ball and Ron Baker with the big range. Yeah, he needed that. I thought he shot the ball extremely well in shoot around this morning. Coming into the day, 4-17 from three. He did knock two down versus Tulsa, but good to see him getting started early. Ball on the floor, and Clay Anthony early comes away with it. Nice job defensively by Baker. So a good up and down by Ron Baker, the redshirt freshman out of Scott City. Shockers with a one-point lead in the basketball. I think if you have opportunity, Wichita State has got to push that basketball and run in transition. Air Force is really looking to come back into that zone, and when you push the basketball, you can get guys mixed up and score early. Teams return turnovers. Wessel looking for Carl Hall on the baseline, and that's a good matchup. Hall against Taylor Brookheis, who's a 6'10 senior out of Colorado Springs, and there's a decided speed advantage between those two. Foul is going to go against Ron Baker as Kyle Green was going back door. What's the difficulty defending the backdoor cut? Because I guess it's just something that you're not used to seeing time in and time out down the floor. Well, it's a team, first of all, they're going to run it and push it. And they can score in many ways. You have the backdoor pass, you have the elbow entry, the wing entry. They're going to do a dribble entry. They'll do a dribble handoff. You just have to play good, solid, fundamental man-to-man -man defense. And the more you pressure the ball, the more you pressure your man, that's what Air Force wants. That's when they beat you. Demetrius Williams into the game along with Jake White and Fred Van Vliet. Hey, Bruce, you've got five seniors on the court yeah. right now for Air Force. They can run this Princeton offense in their sleep. Nice so job. They have to be very, very solid. Shockers with that pressure defense have just forced their second turnover. Fred Van Vliet all the way to the basket. Jake White on the offensive glass and one. Nope, he got him for a walk. John Higgins with the call. They wipe it away. Nice job by Jake White, but he couldn't do it without shuffling his feet. Yeah, Jake White trying to get more minutes for this team. Only two points in nine minutes in the Tulsa game. He's a guy that's got to find his rhythm in this offense, pick up his defensive pressure. I think he's a great on-ball defender and a smart basketball player. He knows what's going on. He can see the court I think well, and I think that's why Greg Marshall has him in this game early. Yeah, played just 11 minutes in his last two ball games. Nice take on cue, huh? Nice on-ball right. defense there. He's After got to keep his man in front of him. After 33 minutes in the games previous to that in Mexico, Chandrak LaFile in the game for Wichita State. One point game, biggest lead for Wichita State in the early going has been three. Air Force led by one for a moment. 
to pass. Great look by Evan Wessel and the assist off the basket from Lufa. And that's where Evan Wessel could beat you. I thought a few possessions back, he had a beautiful pass to Carl Hall and then a great feed, good vision to find the Chad Rack LaFille. Kyle Green, the 60 senior out of Richland Hills. 14 is Michael Lyons, nice pass down low. And the buck, nice look. Mike Fitzgerald and then right back the other way. Fred Van Fee, that, that guy can see the whole court. So much poise with the basketball, the no-look pass. Down low in the paint. Nice job defensively on Lyons. Shockers pushing it. Looking to an extend a three-point lead. White loses it. And the Shockers turn it over. And then Evan Wessel with the foul. Shockers not valuing the basketball, but up three. Because you deserve the greatest tasting pizzas, Pizza Hut introduces the new overstuffed pizza. A colossal creation fully loaded with Italian meat trio filled with cheese and three meats, or Supremo packed with meat and veggies. This one-of-a-kind pizza has delicious toppings baked into the middle of two golden crusts. Go all in and get full-on flavor with the new overstuffed pizza. Right now, just $12.99. Pizza Hut, make it great. Promoting healthy communities is key at Preferred Health Systems, and we're committed to promoting better health in Kansas. Preferred Health serves thousands of employers across the state with affordable, comprehensive health benefits plans. And now we're backed by the resources of Coventry Healthcare, a national Fortune 500 company. With our local presence and national strength, we can offer more new products, new competitive rates, and the same great customer service. Preferred Health Systems, a Coventry Healthcare plan. Flexible, affordable, the plan for better health. Visit phsystems.com for more information. My name's Colin Pearson and I'm studying exercise science here at WSU. So this has given me the opportunity to study at Wichita State and play golf at the same time. My academic goals, I'd like to graduate with a 3.5 GPA or higher. Coming from a third world country, these opportunities don't really come around that often. So getting a scholarship is very important because of say so I've been given an opportunity of a lifetime and very grateful for it. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Wichita State up three early, or Verizon wireless keys to the game. Well, they, they have to take good shots against the zone. They're going to see a ton of it. Uh, like we said, the majority of that is going to be that matchup of zone. Good passing. They have to have a ton of movement. And when they have open shots, they've got to knock it down and, and defend the Princeton offense. This is a team that does a ton of moving, a ton of cutting, uh, lots of screens. Uh, they fill the court with players that can shoot the three. This team is number two in the country in knocking down threes, ten and a half a game. So you've got to be really, really solid and communicate defensively. It's Kale Cotton in the game. Three ball on the way, rebound for Cotton, and the Shockers break back. Up three with the basketball. Wichita State with three quick turnovers, make it four. All the way to the other end, and with the left hand, unable to come up with it, is Kyle Green. So the Shockers putting some good defensive pressure on. Four early turnovers. They really extend that zone. You got to find the gaps in the zone. You have to keep moving, look for that high penetration, that high pass up to the top of the key. Try to suck that zone defense in and then great ball movement. Five Williams with five to shoot and he turns it over. Shockers have turned it over three of the last four times down. Shot. And Todd Fletcher knocks it down. Talked about Fletcher, number two nationally in assist to turnover ratio. 4.2 assists to .5 turnovers a game. Nice look inside, Carl Hall, and he gets the bucket. Carl with six early points. Yeah, the Air Force hasn't found an answer to stop Carl Hall in the paint. Great feed again to find him. Good lob pass, Carl Hall at great spacing. They scored it early. And back up over the 
backboard, and Wichita State will have it. Lyons has not hit a shot yet. Michael Lyons, the 6'5 senior out of Newport News, Virginia. Also under number 32, Ethan One Michael. of the top scorers in the country. Take a look at Greg Marshall. Sixth season at Wichita State, 116 up, 61 down. 63 and 17 in his last two plus years. Malcolm Armstead back in the ball game. They go back door to Hall and Carl will shoot two. Yeah, all Carl's doing is he's, 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 he's backing his man up just to create enough space for a good pass to get to him. And he's done a nice job of sealing off the defender. And the Shockers have done a, a really nice job of feeding him the basketball. Carl, a 31 of 41 on the season. Those 41 free throws represent the most by a Shocker player. And he knocks it down, and the Shocker lead is four. Carl Hall's had a great start to the season, double figures, scoring in all seven games. Had his third double-double versus Tulsa. Just, he, sorry, Bruce, but just a much improved basketball player. He worked on his conditioning, worked on his ball handling. See him with his prescription goggles. His free throw shooting percentage is up tremendously. Kale Cotton all the way to the basket in Wichita State. He is up six. Attacking that zone. You have to break down that zone and using it with dribble penetration. Kale Cotton taking his shot at Lions now. You'd imagine that as they did with James Woodard, the high scorer from Tulsa, that Greg Marshall will run a lot of different guys at Michael Lyons tonight. Armstead on a switch. Yeah, Malcolm just needs to have him shoot overhand. The guy was shooting a fading jump shot. Defend that play without fouling. But there's going to be times in Wichita State is going to have to switch in this defense against that Princeton defense. There's so much movement, you're going to have to switch, especially up on top of the key in that certain situation where Malcolm Armstrong had to switch in the role, he had to guard Ethan Michael. A little bit bigger guy. Yeah, a little bigger guy. Trying to make a move to get some size in the lineup. Michael, in fact, playing very few minutes. He missed both free throws, and then Early and LaFeel knocked the ball out of bounds on a give-me rebound. So fresh 35 now for Air Force. Lions averaging nearly 22 points a game, 0 for 3. And Fitzgerald, though, on the other hand, has been hot. Nine points for him. He drains the three. Yeah, he's the guy that's been struggling for three. Three of 11 over the last five games, and he is the three-point shooter. He's a guy, when he gets hot, you have to find him. Number eight, all-time career three-point shooting percentage. Ron Baker answers back his second triple of the ball game. So two teams trade threes back to a six point edge. Good hustle. Lions against Cotton out front. Michael up top, they go back door. Nice play. Shockers have not found a consistent answer to defend that backdoor cut. Yeah, and you have to keep your man in front of you. Once your man gets even with you, it's very difficult to stop that backdoor pass. Woo! Lions was going for it all. Wasn't he? No call on the play. Malcolm Armstead back the other way. Couldn't get it to go. And the long rebound by Michael. Four-point game, Air Force with the basketball. What Air Force can do, you, you said it, Bruce. Coach Marshall, he's going to sub in a lot of guys. Air Force works so hard on their offensive set. They cut fast, they cut hard, they set a ton of screens, and that can wear you down on the defensive end. Lions all the way to the basket. Nice little move. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound to Kale Cotton. Yeah, so far, they forced him yep. to take some difficult shots. He's a guy that's really successful of getting into the paint. The good news, though, for Air Force is Lions has done nothing as Anthony, Anthony Early can't score. 
Lions has done nothing, and they're only down four. Todd Fletcher out front. Max Yon had it lost. Yeah, one thing about when you defend Air Force, you cannot relax, because once you relax, that's when they get you. And one, Malcolm Armstead let the man cut behind him. Air Force hanging in it. Go big or go home. Every price is low during the Schofield Buick GMC year-end clearance. Choose your vehicle, choose your deal. All new Buicks and GMCs must go by the end of the year. Huge discounts up to $9,000. Easy payments from just $199 a month. 0% for 72 months on Yukons, Denali's, Enclaves, and Acadia. Or 0 for 60 on Sierras, Terrains, and the La Crosse. It's time you made the switch to America's best vehicles during our year-end clearance event. Schofield Buick GMC, East Kellogg across from Town East Square. It's a chip shot, easy kick, but a bad snap, miss hold. What if I was just to pull the ball away while you were kicking it? You'd get fired. Oh. The point is, never take anything for granted, including collision repair. Collision Center of Andover is a preferred direct repair provider. Our one estimate is all you need. Our in-house 24-hour tow service is always here too. And our workmanship comes with a lifetime guarantee. So don't take it for granted. Take it to Collision Center of Andover. Wichita State's Alumni Association will turn 100 years old in 2013, and plans are underway to celebrate a century of shockers. Did you know the Alumni Association has been supporting student athletes on the court and on the field since 1913? Shocker alumni have organized homecomings around the big game for decades. For 100 years and counting, the association has worked hard to serve the university and its alumni. Happy birthday, WSU Alumni Association. Happy birthday! We finally got Cox high-speed internet, so now there's way less buffering time in our house. But now there's... Bandwidth, baby! Woo! Look at that! Streaming, gaming, downloading all at the same time as a family! We're number one! Randy, hey. we just got Cox High Speed Internet. Try not to be jealous. Hey! Bandwidth! We yeah. have it too. Switch to Cox High Speed Internet and get speeds two times faster than basic DSL. Order today and upgrade your speed for just $5 more per month. Switch to Cox today. Wichita State Shocker Basketball is brought to you tonight by Preferred Health Systems, your plan for better health. By the Kansas Department of Transportation, KDOT reminding you to click it or tick it. By Wichita's own Coke Industries and by Pizza Hut, America's favorite pizza. Air Force on a 5-0 run. Mike Fitzgerald already with 11 points. His season high is 13, looking to make a 6-0 run. And he Planks it out of there. Evan Wessel with the rebound. Well, Michael Lyons has done nothing to this point. Their leading score, 22 points a game, but Mike Fitzgerald has filled the void. Yeah, he's on. He's just coming off that season high you talked about, Bruce, of 13 in their last game. It's carried over to today. Greg Marshall moving people in and out. Evan Wessel along with Fred Van Vliet, Dimitrik Williams, Carl Hall, and Jake White. Van Vliet for an uncontested three. Had a good look at it, and Jake White's called for the push. Good possession. I thought they really worked both sides of the zone. They tried to get the ball to Jake White and Carl Hall in the paint. They could, but good extra pass by Dramatic Williams. Van Vliet just unable to get the, the three to fall. Two-point lead. Wichita State's largest has been six. Now a little pressure in backcourt. Well, shot has got to find a way to stop that backdoor pass. Yeah. It's happened three times. And one thing about the Princeton offense, when the ball's on the opposite side of the court, the other side's always moving. So like I talked about earlier, you can never relax. And once you relax, that's when they're going to hit you. Carl Hall with another rebound. His third. Shockers in the last four trips have missed two shots and turned it over two other times. Not very productive offense. There's Hall down low, drawing the double team. They really pack it in in the paint on that 3 shoe zone. Oh, nice pass. Boy, great pass from Demetri Williams. He's had a couple of them here. Yeah, Carl Hall, gosh, he's been a workhorse in the paint, working both sides of the paint, trying to sneak in and find those open spots, and he found it there. 21-17 lead by the Shockers. All the way to the bucket with the left hand, and the rim's out. 
Pretty good take by the big fella Brookhouse. Every guy on this court for Air Force can shoot the three, so you have to be aware of getting a hand up. I thought Carl Hall did a nice job. Brookhouse, he's a guy 6-9 on the season from three at 6-10. Did a good job defending. Defended without fouling. Shockers up by four, have turned it over now seven times. This is a team that on the year is averaging just 12.7 turnovers, so Air Force's pressure has done nice things. Brookhouse with the bucket. Brookhouse is big as 6'10", double figures in four games. Scoring this season, been quiet as of late, but making his presence felt with the big sky hook. Wessel for three. Boy, that shot was halfway down. In back the other way, Lions couldn't get the tip. And then Jake White is fouled by Trey Coggins, the freshman out of San Juan Capistrano, California. Uh, Jake White being tough for the ball. Trey Coggins, he's, he's got to get back. Not a smart play. Shockers are pounding the Air Force on the glass, 15-6. Substitution for the Shockers, Ron Baker. Ron Baker back in for Evan Wessel, and here comes Clee Anthony early as well. Dave Pilipovich, the eighth coach in Air he Force history, seven and shots. seven in his first full season, has done a really nice job here getting this Air Force team off to a six and one start. Yeah, and he talked about, he knew coming into today he had to limit second shots. And this team had to rebound the basketball better. They're only out rebounding their opponents by three rebounds a game, something they've worked on the last few days of improving. Having problems finding space in the zone. 12 seconds to shoot. That matchup has done a nice job against the Shockers. Van Fleet trying to just dribble through traffic. Gives it up. Coggins finishes. Yeah, in the zone, a matchup zone. It's that high screen. You can't, you can't attack right there. That's a tough play to do. Because Air Force is bunching it up so much on the inside when you're starting to attack. And they like to go in transition. And the game is tied. Cameron Michael in the game for the first time. Ten seconds to shoot for the Shockers. Have not probed the middle of this zone. And another turnover. Hall gets it right back and then gives it up. Possession arrow to Wichita State. Air Force on an 8-2 run over the last four and a half minutes. It's a tie ball game in the altitude. We all want to be a part of something big, of moments that matter. Coke companies and our employees are committed to making a difference in the community through financial support and volunteer services that empower others to succeed. From how you live to the way you live, we strive to make each community we call home a better place for this generation and the next. Coke Industries, transforming our communities, transforming daily life. Time out. Time out for a substitution. Okay, everybody in. Whoa, whoa, too many people on the court. This is the Patterson Legal Team. Lawyers, expert witnesses, paralegals, all with great credentials. All at once? All this, and we get nothing until you get paid. If you're injured, you're going to want them all. I, I got to check the rule book. Only one rule. We get our clients every dollar they deserve. All right. Gary Patterson team, all in. Okay, guys, let's play ball. Four, six, eight, seven, two, four, oh, oh. Without it, tall kids would just be tall. Nath Smith, just a name. And hardwood, just flooring. Without it, blood and sweat wouldn't mean as much. 24 seconds would just be time on a clock. And fight songs, just noise. There'd be no madness in March, no game-changing dunks. No alley-oops or half-court buzzer beaters. There'd be fewer and fewer shots at greatness, and Cinderella would just be a bedtime story. Without oil and natural gas, our lives would be missing many of the ordinary products we depend on every day, and some that make life extraordinary. 
message from Kansas Oil and natural gas producers. Shocker Hoops is brought to you by Simpson Construction Services, a full-service construction management partner for more than 50 years. For your next commercial building project, call Simpson Construction Services. Greg Marshall's team is led by as many as six. It's all tied at 21 right now. Shocker's shooting at 60%. Air Force at 45.5%. The Air Force has had seven more shots because the Shockers have turned it over eight times to one for the Air Force Academy. Ron Baker with three seconds on the shot clock. Had a good look, but couldn't get it to go. Two for three from three-point range for the Shocker freshman. Yeah, nice play coming out of timeout. They had to get a quick shot up with three on the shot. They had a good look at it. Air Force with a chance to take the lead. Nice job by Baker on the floor. Trying to, to nice job by Ron Baker. Took on two Falcons, forced the turnover. Shockers with numbers. Demetrius Williams all the way to the foot, and then the foul on Clee Anthony early. Five turnovers in the last five and a half minutes now for Wichita State. One field goal during that stretch. How about Ron Baker? Yeah, just diving on the floor, the floor, but that's what wins games on the road, giving his his ball club a chance to get the ball back and go score. We got Wichita State has got to be smart. Clay Anthony early getting the elbow a little high, causing the offensive foul. You know, it's been chippy on both ends of the court. I've seen guys getting down low, throwing some elbows. Uh, it, it's been a tough physical basketball game. Nice little give and one. And the Air Force had a nice mismatch right there as they got Brookhuis and Dimitrik Williams on a switch. And they took care of the mismatch for the end one. Yeah, they're finding ways to get Brookhuis to score the basketball. Shockers have, have to have to do a better job of, of how they're going to guard the screen and roll and how they're going to guard the backdoor pass. Those two plays that hurt them in this first half. Helped considerably by an 0 for 5 effort by the Air Force Academy at the line. And the Shockers facing a deficit. Now the fact is they do not shoot at the charity stripe well, 63%. And we have a whistle away from the basketball. De La Belle Earls called for the foul. And that is the only third team foul on the Air Force Academy. The Shockers with seven. Right underneath, Carl Hall, and that can't get any easier. I, I thought Demetri Williams was going to miss him. Air Force, <laughs> poor communication. Guys getting switched up down low. And Carl Hall begging for the rock. Already with 11 points, so double-digit scoring in eight straight games for Carl Hall this season. Too easy underneath. Hey, you've got to keep your man between the ball and the basket. Carl Hall playing a little too high, and if they do that shuffle cut, that dive cut, they're going to pass it. Kill Cotton coming off an eight-point game. Clee Anthony Early is yet to get it going. That'll help. Uh, right there, Clee Anthony Early just said, I'm giving myself a little shot fake. I got to find a way to get going. Didn't shoot the three, which I liked. See that pass right there? It doesn't look like it's there, but they're going to throw it every time because they're looking for it, and they practice it over and over and over. Carl Hall called for the foul. It'll be two shots. Brooke Heiss at the line. 63% shooter on the season. But again, why they're so tough to guard on, on those particular plays of back cut is because you have to guard them around the perimeter. This team shoots it so well. We talked about it. they almost shoot 11, make 11 threes on the season, shoot 51% from the field, 42 from three. So you've got to guard them out to the perimeter, and then you've got to find ways to defend them when they do their back cutting. Shadrach Lufield back into the ball game for Wichita State as Brooke Heiss hits them both. Approaching the five minute mark of the first half. Yeah. 
Baker, Williams, Wiggins. Nick Wiggins in the game for the first time, along with Early and Lucille for Wichita State. And the foul is going to go against Chadrack Lufield. Well, Shockers have no rhythm whatsoever at this point. None. Hanner only down two. I think Air Force has done a they've done a really nice job in that matchup zone. And Wichita State has to take care of the basketball. When you turn the ball over, you're limiting your amount of shots you get to take. Well, and the Air Force Academy is. 12 points off of Shocker turnovers in this game. It's a huge stat. Wichita State with a little zone look themselves right now. Well, yeah, they're getting beat on the back cut. They're getting beat on the dives. They got to start packing in that paint a little bit. But you have to be aware of this team. You shoot it. You've got to get out fast and guard the guys on the perimeter. Three ball coming. Good box out by Lufil. Shocker's got numbers if they push it. Air Force does a nice job of sprinting back on defense, getting in the matchup zone. Only four three-point attempts from the Air Force Academy. The same as Ron Baker. Anthony Early can't save it. Hands on knees. Remember, we're playing at altitude here in Colorado Springs. Well, I think that's why Greg Marshall Early was getting a lot of substitution. They went pretty hard at shoot around this morning, but, but it's not game like. And, and now you're in game like rhythm. It takes you a while to get adjusted to it. And we're playing in the afternoon. That shoot around was at 9 a.m. local time. Credit the Air Force Academy doing a good, good job. Luck. It's as good as it gets right there. And foul goes against Nick Wiggins. Timeout on the floor. Air Force up two and with a chance to extend the lead when we come back. Sports Time Fan Shop is your NCAA basketball superstore. The more your team scores, the more you save during Sports Time Score Buster discount sale. If Wichita State, KU, or K-State wins, you save 15%. If they score in the 80s, take 25% off. Over 90 points, how about 40% off? That team's apparel the day after the Shockers, Jayhawks, or Wildcats win. Sports Time Fan Shop, bigger and better, only at 21st and Mays Road in Newmarket Square. We caught a glimpse of you. We caught a glimpse of you. And the color, the color of your mind. Oh, 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 well. Collect a bit of history with McDonald's Retro Glasses. One free with a large extra value meal, or just 69 cents with a regular extra value meal, like the iconic Big Mac or the Hot Off the Grill CBO. The simple joy of timeless fun. You've been waiting all year for the best time to buy a car. Then come and get it during the Schofield Hyundai Year End Sales Events. Incredibly low payments in our biggest selection of the year. Drive the award-winning Elantra for zero down and $239 a month. Check out the totally redesigned Santa Fe with a sleek new look for zero down and $359 a month. Or save up to $5,700 on the luxurious Genesis. The Year End Sales Event. Super low payments, zero down, no first payment. Only at Schofield Hyundai East and West. Make every room a TV room. Now watch live TV on your iPad in any room of your house with Cox TV Connect. When you need TV in more ways and in more places, we're there. Download the app now, free. Bruce Hurdle and Craig Steven courtside for the first ever meeting between Wichita State and the Air Force Academy, according to Air Force, the second, <laughs> according to Wichita State. Clay Anthony Early in the shocker huddle as this basketball team down 27 to 25. Air Force is getting it done on both ends of the court, Craig. Yeah, they're really making Wichita State work on both ends. It's, uh, on the offensive end, they're cutting, been superb. Uh, they're sending guys to the basket. Their passing has been crisp. And they've been scre screening extremely well. And then on the defensive end, they're really working shot clock. They're making Wichita State work for every shot that they can take. 
Maybe they're forcing them to turn the basketball over. Yeah, the Shockers are shooting nearly 58%, but they've turned it over 10 times. That becomes problematic, especially when the Air Force Academy has scored 12 points off of turnovers and you haven't scored one. Well, I've not seen a team with so many issues shooting free throws at this particular point. Just two of seven from the line, two of eight. A big difference in this ball game. Yeah, very big. Of course, Earls, you expect it, just two of 11 coming in. Now two of 13 on the season. Let's see if the Shockers can finish with a bit of a flurry here to end the half. Might look like a man, but it's a matchup. They're switching everything. They're trying to stay in their zone. That's why you call it a matchup man zone. If their man cuts, they're following it, but they're going to try and stay in their positions on the court. And the Shockers settling for deep shots, and Anthony, Anthony Early comes away empty. Wichita State now two of eight from three-point range, and another strong take. Earl scores at the basket. Air Force is getting high percentage shots. The Shockers aren't. Exactly. And they're doing that with ball movement and, and catching Wichita State while they're sleeping. Wiggins for three. Shockers crashing the boards, but one and done again. Greg Marshall, arms folded on the Shocker bench. Shaking his head a bit. I wish I'll say that they have to be patient, especially on the offensive end. They're going to find cracks in that zone. They're going to get used to it, uh, how to get the ball. I think, I think if they could get it more at that free throw line extended, right there in the middle of the paint, even if, even if they don't do anything with it, it just gets that defense to commit, and then it's going to create uncontested shots around the perimeter. A token backdoor pressure. Air Force on a 16 to 6 run now. They have controlled the second half of the first. Fifteen to shoot. Lions from way outside. Michael Lyons 0 for 8 from the floor. Nice pass, nice give, good bucket. Yeah, Van Fleet made all of that happen by attacking the basket. Good vision by him and Baker. And that's what Carl Hall hangs around the basket. Ball up quick and scores. And the Shockers force a turnover. This is what Craig was talking about here just a moment ago. Yeah, it takes from one side of the court, no rush, nice poise. And then Baker leaves his feet knowing he's going to find Carl Hall right by the basket. Good bounce pass. Always guys cutting, guys moving. Easy bucket for Carl Hall. Carl Hall, six of six from the floor. 13 points. Mitra Williams along with Fred Van Fleet to Kale Cotton and Evan Wessel. Carl Hall still in down low. Inside of a minute and a half in the first half. Two point game. Kale Cotton, nice to the basket. What I like about that, the ball was rotating and as the zone's rotating, Carl, or excuse me, to Kel Cotton puts it on the floor and attacks. And that ball gets reversed. That's when you want to put it on the floor while the defense is moving. It's hard for them to recover. Boy, Mike Fitzgerald has had a half, hasn't he? 13 points for Fitzgerald. Ian Hall sharing the top scoring honors. Inside of a minute to play now. Fitzgerald, a guy who started every game last year in his senior season this year, known for his three-point percentage shooting is getting it done, getting inside the lane. Demetri Williams, a contested three, Got and he it. drills it. Wichita State steals the lead, now looking for a stop here in the last 29 seconds. Five ties and four lead changes now. Yeah, just good ball movement by Wichita State. Van Fleet just sucking the defense in just enough to give Williams a little space, a little cushion to knock down the high arching three. Foul on the other end against Evan Wessel, and that will put 
Air Force Academy at the line shooting one in the bonus. Kyle Green is the best free throw shooter on this team at 85%. Kyle coming off a zero point in 14 minute effort against Jackson State. In his two previous games have been averaging 14 and a half points. At 18 against the Citadel. Hasn't shot well of late, just six of his last 23. Yeah, he's, he's trying to find a way. He's struggling scoring, like you said. First couple games of the season were nice, 11 and 18. That you alluded to, Bruce, but they're trying to find a way, ways to get this guy rhythm with the basketball in the offensive end. Well, Anthony Early jumped a little early, didn't time his jump to get that carom. And Air Force Academy will have a chance to take the lead here as time winds down. There's Lyons. That's the guy they want to take the shot, and they threw it away with 2.7 seconds left. Yeah, a little confusion by Air Force, not knowing exactly what they wanted to do with the clock ticking down. Let's see what Wichita State can conjure with 2.7 seconds left. These are things that you actually work on in practice. Timeout. And they got the quick timeout. Yeah, nice two, play. Yeah, with 2.2 seconds left. Now they can operate in the attacking side of the court. So the Shockers led by six through the first 10 minutes, and then the Air Force Academy took charge. Wichita State fighting back here just before the half. Cox Kansas 22 is bringing you this exclusive viewing option across the Cox cable systems in Kansas. If you are watching live on channel 22, please know that with Cox Advanced TV, you can view the game in high definition. Tune your Cox HD receiver to channel 2022. That's 2022 and give it a look. Only customers with an HD receiver and HD service can view Cox Kansas 2022. From border to border, call 1-888-GET-MORE to find how Cox Kansas 22 can be viewed in high definition. Well, Wichita State has put them in a position to be able to score going in, into halftime, into the locker room with 2.2 seconds. Coach Pilipovich doesn't like what he sees once he gets his team set up defensively, calls it another timeout. So Greg Marshall. Working his magic on the sideline with 2.2 seconds remaining. The Shockers trying to improve to 8-0 and in a season for the first time since 2007. When that Shocker team, remember, won at Syracuse at LSU, beat George Mason on the road. Went to New Mexico that year with an 8-0 and record and an eighth ranking in the country. P.J. Cousinard got sick. Shockers... Beaten by New Mexico and then USC. Back to back games and the way to a tough season. Luther Williams, boy, he had a good look at it. So it's all tied at 32. 20 minutes are in the book, work to do, but no blood in the first half. Time out on the floor, back to Colorado Springs in a moment. At Autocraft, hear what our customers are saying. Great job, excellent work on time and very, very impressed. Helpful. Good service, fast and very Because quick. they are the best. We find this service rare in this day. This service was awesome. Would recommend this shop. Extremely there. good in every way. Great card and comment they sent. Because they do the best work in Wichita. Autocraft Collision Repair. Where the mark of a good body shop is no mark at all. Well, we finally got Cox Whole Home DVR, which in our house, of course, means... Whole Home Party! DVR in the kitchen, what? That means we can record our shows and watch them in any room. I'm recording four of my favorite shows, and your mom's watching her cooking show all at the same time. Are you watching something you recorded? I was about to. Whole Home Party! Get a free upgrade to Cox Advanced TV with a free HD receiver. Plus, don't forget about Whole Home DVR, so you can record your favorites and watch them in any room. Switch to Cox today. We're all set. Great job, guys. Been a long night. Just give me the Wilson file, we can get out of here. No, no, no. 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 
What? Slow DSL. Takes them forever to transfer files. Yeah, it's pretty chart heavy. Yeah, it's still gonna be a while. Want fast internet? Upgrade to Cox Business. Ranked highest in customer satisfaction. Only Cox Business has speeds that work for you. Switch today. We finally got the bundle from Cox. And now that our TV, phone, and internet are working together, my dad has gone a little bundle crazy. Ha! Ah, see that? Phone and TV working together. It's Aunt Shirley calling right there on the television. Shouldn't we answer it? You want to talk to Shirley? Tyler, look at this. I'm watching three different shows at the same time. Why? Bundle. With the Cox Bundle, you get everything you want at a price you'll love. Cox TV, digital telephone, and internet with speeds two times faster than basic DSL. Switch to Cox today. Wichita State and Air Force all even as we join the Patterson Legal Group halftime report. Shockers with 11 turnovers, 11 turnovers and 14 points off of turnovers for the Air Force Academy. And right now, that's the difference in this basketball game. Yeah, they've had trouble with that matchup, man-to-man -man zone, if you want to call it, that the Air Force is putting on Wichita State. I think patience and taking good shots and try to limit your turnovers, obviously, but taking good shots and find a ways to attack that zone, the heart of that zone, and I think good things will happen. Carl Hall, he was a, he was a beast down low, 13 points in the first half. They've got to keep finding ways to get him the rock down low. Wichita State was having problems defending a lot of back cuts early in the half. They seem to have at least righted the ship in that cause. Yeah, I, I definitely think they did. I think early on it was tough for them to get used to that. Think about it. You don't, normally, you don't guard a lot of teams that run this much type of offense, all this cutting, backdoor, ton of screens, ball hand. So I think they just took them a while to get used to it. Three backdoor cuts hurt them, a couple dives that got them. But I, for the most part, they adjusted and took some momentum going into the locker room. Air Force Academy can't hit anything at the free throw line. They'd probably be up eight or nine points if they could do that. What have the Shockers learned in this first 20 minutes that they apply to the second 20? I think they got to defend a little bit better. They've got to find a ways to keep them from attacking to the basket. You're right. If this team makes their free throw games, it's a seven, eight point game difference in, in Air Force's favor. And patience on the offensive end. Keep trying to find a way to establish themselves down low. And I think if they get stops defensively, if they can push the basketball up the court, good things will happen. All right. Halftime on the Patterson Legal Group. Halftime report. Diaper dash going on. You talk about competition, that's where it really is. Back in a moment. We don't always like change. Change in diet, exercise, season. But sometimes change brings out the best in us. We become better. At Preferred Health Systems, while we may have changed our look, we haven't changed our commitment to Kansas employers. Preferred Health Systems, now a Coventry health care plan, offers new affordable and comprehensive health benefits plans and competitive rates. At the core, we're the same. Same great company, same great customer service. Preferred Health Systems, the plan for better health. Meet Jim. Jim's had too much to drink. Now Jim is driving. He could hurt himself or someone else. Instead, Jim gets busted. He loses his license, his job, his girlfriend, and his future. Don't be Jim. If you're over the limit, you're under arrest. Brought to you by the Kansas Department of Transportation and your Kansas law enforcement community. Time. Time out. Time out for a substitution. Okay, everybody in. Whoa, whoa, too many people on the court. This is the Patterson legal team. Lawyers, expert witnesses, paralegals, all with great credentials. All at once? All this, and we get nothing until you get paid. If you're injured, you're going to want them all. I... I gotta check the rule book. Only one rule. We get our clients every dollar they deserve. All right. Gary Patterson team, all in. Okay, guys, let's play ball. My name is Melanie Yeagers. I'm a sophomore from Mesquite, Texas. My major is exercise science with a minor in chemistry. After graduating, I see myself coaching, whether at a collegiate or high school level. I feel like athletics prepares us by giving us characteristics like teamwork and a strong work ethic that can really help us. Say So has given me the opportunity to play the sport that I love and get a quality education at the same time. Wichita State University Shocker Basketball brought to you today by Delta Dental because everyone deserves a healthy smile. By Budweiser, the great American lager. 
by Wichita Mid-Continent Airport. Convenient, friendly, affordable. By Verizon Wireless, rule the air with Verizon. And by Patterson Legal Group, the good guys. And we continue on the Patterson Legal Group Halftime Report. Our buddy Darren Boatwright from the Wichita State Athletic Department joining us right now. And DB, pretty interesting to watch this Air Force team, the discipline with which they play on both ends of the floor. Pretty impressive stuff. It really is. You know, they control the game offensively and defensively. They take care of the ball. They've only turned it over twice, I think. Uh, so they, they, they force you to play in a way that you're not accustomed right. to playing or you're not accustomed to really preparing for. So this is a... You know, it's kind of an outlier game, if you will, that happens on your schedule every once in a while. And, you know, we have 20 minutes to decide this thing today. Was not in Lawrence last night, but, boy, I sure wish I had been, as Wichita State follows up an incredible come-from-behind, two-set-down situation against Arkansas, then loses the first set to KU last night in the NCAA volleyball tournament, comes back and wins the final three to reach their first-ever Sweet 16 They'll be taking on USC, in this case, the University of Southern California, coming up on Friday in Austin, Texas. But how about Chris Lamb and these uh, young women in the Wichita State Volleyball Program? Incredible effort. They're fantastic. You know, they, they quite possibly are the model of what you want a college athletics team to look at. They're, Chris recruits regionally. Uh, he recruits nationally as mm -hmm. well, but he recruits regionally. Uh, they're great kids. They're great students. Uh, he... He really tries to educate the total person in the time that he has here. I know they've had all kinds of issues with practice time this past semester uh, because one of his upperclassmen uh, needed needed a class in the afternoon, and that's right. you know that's that's the type coach he is. He knows he's preparing him for a lot more than just uh, volleyball. But uh, this this program is six straight NCAA tournaments, and uh, you know it's it just continues to build. And this year is kind of one that maybe you don't have the expectation. Uh, that, that you have had in the years past or a specific year here or there, but the program is instilled. And, and that's when you have special things happen is when your kids are bought into what you're trying to accomplish. And, and not, only do you have, not only do you have prowess on the court, but you have also tremendous success in the stands. This is a model volleyball program, not just for the Missouri Valley Conference in the Midwest, but around the country. Uh, as I go and do events and we talk about Wichita State, and the athletic department in particular, the volleyball program inevitably comes up just because of the fact that they're a top 20 team each and every year in attendance. Yeah, they are. And this year, I think we're eighth in attendance. Uh, in attendance. And, you know, that's several years in a row where we've been in the top 10. And it's, you know, the support that our community gives all of our student athletes and our sports uh, is, is overwhelming and phenomenal. But Wichita is really bought into volleyball and the, the growth of the sport in the community continues to, to get bigger and bigger. And I, I give a lot of credit to that to, to Chris and Jeff Sanders and uh, those folks that have really tried to come into a community and sell volleyball now for nine straight years. And, and uh, you're seeing those things pay off. And, and uh, it's very exciting to be a part uh, of, a, of a program that has great volleyball. And it's, it's unique. And I, I tell the folks I run into all the time, if you haven't came out and watched these gals right. play, you're missing out. Absolutely. And, uh, we talk, fantastic. talk about support for the volleyball team. It's always in evidence here on the road or anywhere that Wichita State plays for the basketball team. Be back in just a moment. Stay with us as we continue on the Patterson Legal Group Halftime Report. Hi, Greg Marshall here. You gain confidence with preparation and hard work. When you look and feel great, you can be at the top of your game. That's why I go to Johnston's. I have confidence in their quality clothing and service. Gain confidence and shop at Johnston's. Johnston's, confidence in you. You gotta love the Christmas sales event at Rusty Egg Ford. Not only do you get to choose from the largest inventory in the state of Kansas, but you get great deals like this. Pick out an F-150, take $7,000 off, and then fill it full of all kinds of great Christmas presents. Hey, Craig, don't forget about dessert. Dessert? Yeah, I'm gonna throw in a brand new Ford Fiesta at no additional charge. Oh my gosh, I hope you have a big appetite. It's the Christmas Day sales event at Rusty Egg Ford. And remember, if you don't come see us today, we can't save you any money. Call All Seasons Construction at 685-1700 for all of your replacement and repair needs. Estimates are always free and we will work with your insurance company to make the process easy. We specialize in window and siding repair and replacement. Our siding has a lifetime guarantee and will insulate your home as well as reduce noise around you. Locally owned and in business for 20 years, we know what matters most is a satisfied customer. So call today. For all the right reasons, choose All Seasons. 
This is something new. Verizon Wireless is teaming up with Cox. So sign up to complete your Cox bundle and get Verizon Wireless, plus a great offer. Visit your local Verizon Wireless or Cox Solutions store or call 877-979-6462 to sign up and you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card by mail. Verizon Wireless and Cox. TV, internet, home phone, and wireless. One idea leads to another. Hi, Greg Marshall. It takes confidence to perform at the highest level in basketball and life. Johnson's quality clothing gives me the confidence during games. Johnson's can help you with your confidence too. See their team on East 21st Street. Johnson's confidence in you. Welcome back to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Some of the cadets enjoying the action tonight and they've had plenty to watch in the first half. First half highlights, courtesy of the Kansas Department of Transportation. Yeah, and a lot of that has to do with Mice Fitzgerald. 13 points, doing it on both ends of the court. Guy's been defending, defending well too, but here you see the, the patented back cut uh, out of the Princeton office. And this is what he does really well. Steps back, shoots the three, and then the dribble back cut, sucking in the defense, and then a tremendous pass to find him. And then on the other end, the guy matching his point production at 13 is Carl Hall, who's been a workhorse. He's been working so tough in the paint. You see him going and getting it. He's got five rebounds in the first half. Kind of working his way to his eighth double-double. But if they can get him the ball, nice lob from Wessel and Baker, who have both found him. Nice, good-looking passes to him. He's just the guy that, in this zone break, that they've got to keep working through him to be successful. 20 minutes to be played. Nothing decided in Colorado Springs back in a moment. Check it out! This wasn't my night. I should have worn cologne. I should have held the door open for her. I should have shaken her father's hand and confused her mom for her sister. I should have picked a better movie. I should have kissed her in the sixth grade when I first had the chance. I should have been myself. I should have worn my seatbelt. Regret hurts. Buckle up. Every trip, every time. Brought to you by the Kansas Department of Transportation and your Kansas law enforcement community. Watch us, watch us, watch us. We all want to be a part of something big, of moments that matter. Coke companies and our employees are committed to making a difference in the community through financial support and volunteer services that empower others to succeed. From how you live to the way you live, we strive to make each community we call home a better place for this generation and the next. Coke Industries, transforming our communities, transforming daily life. Ready to travel? Wichita Mid-Continent Airport makes it convenient with a variety of great airlines and destinations. In fact, with only one stop to over 400 cities, you can relax, enjoy the flight, and arrive faster. Get going to sandy beaches, snow-covered mountains, or experience the big city life. Our popular low fare carriers make it a breeze. Check out tips to make traveling even more convenient at flywichita.com. Beautiful day as the sun sets behind the Rockies in a 32-32 ball game. Mid-Continent Airport bringing you the first half stats. Both teams shooting the ball well, although not from three-point range. Shockers leading the battle of the glass. But Wichita State has turned it over six more times, and it has produced ten more Air Force points. Both teams sharing the ball nicely. Air Force has taken it away six times. Another big stat is that Michael Lyons, the go-to guy for the Air Force Academy, 0 for 8. He has not scored in this ballgame. We're talking about a player that averages 22 a game. He's got a guy, obviously Fitzgerald has picked up the slack, but they're going to find ways to get Michael Lyons going because if they want to win this game, they need him to play well. But when you defend like that, you don't need him. <laughs> Carl Hall just... Trying to get the double team, and Brookheis just scored unattended. 
See if Malcolm Armstead, he sat in the first half with two fouls, can get this offensive going and find ways to attack that zone. Early. Anthony Early with only his third and fourth points. Nice job by Early that time defensively on Mike Fitzgerald. Didn't give ground. Carl Hall inside and Got one. It. You bet. So Carl Hall with 15 points and five rebounds will go to the line. And Greg Marshall electing go to go with Takel Cotton to start the second half. Evan Wessel with two fouls. Just a tremendous feed. And you can tell the agility by Carl Hall to get quick off the deck and give, him give himself a chance to get an and one. At 15, leads all scores. Carl has shot the only two, now three free throws for Wichita State, and he's knocked down two of three. So the Shockers back up by three. Start the second half. Mike Fitzgerald out front working against Anthony Early. Lions from way outside the arc. And Malcolm Armstead pushing it all the way to the bucket. And then the foul is going to be called on the push during the drive, and it's going to go against Todd Fletcher. Yeah, good push in transition by Armstead. Pressing, pressing Air Force to get back on defense and get in that zone. And back to live action. Armstead with the miss. Lions working against Dakale Cotton. Good job of denial by Ron Baker, who tried to buy the call, but Scott Thornley whistles it in for the Air Force Academy. 25 seconds to shoot. Lions is the 12th leading scorer in Air Force history. But Kyle Green does the honors for three from the corner. Yeah, and he's a guy that can shoot it coming into this game. Eight of 12 shots made have been from three. He caught it there in the corner and quick released it. And nothing but net got to get out on him. This is a very, very good three-point shooting team. All five guys on the court right now can shoot the three. The miss and then the foul by Takeo Cotton. First team, first personal in a 37-37 ball game. Todd Fletcher brings it into front court. A lot of movement on the offensive end. You see them when they get into their half court set. All five guys are moving. Nice shot by Armstead. Armstead all the way to the basket with a little turnaround move and the step through. Yeah, Kyle Green got lazy with the basketball and Armstead made him pay. Shockers have picked up the defensive pressure here and have turned them over actually some three times already here in this second half. Three ball coming. Armstead with the carom. Early down low. Oh, great Tough. move. Tough. Great catch and turn by Clee Anthony Early. Clee Anthony Early is such a good athlete, especially when he catches it down low. So good with the basketball. Nice job of using his pivot foot to create some space. And he saw the nice touch. Greg Marshall wants to attack that matchup zone down low. Lyons gets his first bucket. And that was only because Takeo Cotton fell on the drive. Take a look at what we're talking about with what Greg Marshall is trying to do now here against this matchup zone. Yeah, I like how early caught it, made his move, and then went and scored. And you see Green being lazy. And Malcolm Orff said that he's great at that in transition and scoring. Shocker's starting to get a little of the rhythm. It's, 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 it's been capitalized by their defensive pressure. Evan Wessel playing with two fouls in the ball game. Fred Van Vliet as well. Boy, great look. 
Ron Baker with the assist, Jake White with the thank you. A little inside out action, all five guys moving. Three ball Down coming. The open look. Long rebound. Lions. He can hit that, too good of a shooter, too good of a player, tough shot, long three, long rebound. That was a little unlucky bounce for Wichita State. Had the play defended initially. Baker down low, had it blocked. Ron's got to know with a bigger body against him, he's not going to get that shot. Certainly not with the right hand. Lions trying to eat up. Boy, look at him follow his shot. Oh, he knew once he released yep. it, it was off. Two of 12 now from the field is Michael Lyons. They throw that pass, even if it doesn't look there. Yeah. They throw it. But Evan Wessel did a good job getting back defensively. Oh, down low. Oh, too strong. Oh, how about that? With the scream. Carl Hall wants a blow. He needs a rest. So does Ron Baker, both of them with their fists stretched to the ceiling. Hey, Air Force is not an easy team to guard. And they keep it out of the basket, but the foul is going to go against Carl Hall. That's his second. 18 points, a new season high for Carl Hall. Shockers with the lead, up by four. The 2013 Altimas are in at Davis Moore Nissan, completely redesigned inside and out. Rated 38 miles to the gallon highway, the new Altima outperforms every vehicle in its class. Altimas start under 20 grand at Davis Moore, or lease one for as little as 139 a month. And check out the Nissan Rogue, the affordable, family-friendly crossover that gets 28 miles to the gallon. At Davis Moore, you can lease a new Rogue for just 189 a month. It's your season to save at Davis Moore Nissan. Now east of Web Road on Kellogg and online at davis-moore.com. Guaranteed collision repair Service Body Shop The cold Kansas weather is here and Service Body Shop wants to make sure you take it nice and slow this winter. In the unfortunate event you need a body shop, you have a choice. Don't choose just any body shop. At Service Body Shop, we perform both body and mechanical work. We're locally owned and operated with over 55 years experience in the automotive industry. And to help, we're offering free towing, a free rental car, or even help with paying your deductible. Remember, your car, your choice. Service Body Shop where else do I get it? I got it at Tad. This basketball season, every time the Shockers win, there's a party at Tad's Locker Room. All Shocker gear is on sale today after the Shockers win. If the Shockers score under 70, save 10%. Scores in the 90s, save 25%. Scores over 100, and the party at Tad's is on with 40% off all Shocker gear. Celebrate the Shockers' success with Tad's Locker Room the day after the Shockers win. Tad's Locker Room at 21st and Webb Road, the place real Shockers shop. I got it at Tad's. My husband never used to talk on the phone, but now that we're saving $10 a month with Cox Digital Telephone... Hello? Hi, I'm saving $10 every month. Hey, $10 every month. Now maybe she can quit that dead-end job. Honey, I'm expecting a call from my boss, so... Oh, could... this is your boss. I'm saving $10 every month. Who are you talking to? It's a wrong number. What do they want? Nothing. I called them. Get Cox Digital Telephone for just $9.99 a month with free pro installation and save $10 every month. Switch to Cox today. Carl Hall with 18 points, a new season high, one shy of his career high, 19 points. And he has been the offensive stalwart for the Shockers. Next leading scorer, six from Clee Anthony Early and Ron Baker. The Shocks with a torrid start to the second half, six of nine. 67%. They're shooting 59% for the game and are only up four. Brooke Heiss will be at the line shooting a couple. Greg Marshall needs to give Carl Hall a quick breather and get him back out there. They have not found a way, Air Force, that is, has not found a way to stop him in the paint. You know, when they extend that, 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 that matchup zone, they're, they're kind of leaving Fitzgerald and the big guys down low, Brooke Heiss, all alone with Carl Hall. And that's why him and even Clay Anthony Early won this second half and been so successful to score. It's one on one when they catch it in the paint. Air Force 4 of 14 now from the line. 4 of 12, excuse me. So now they've kind of fallen back in that 2 3 zone. The majority of this game, they played a matchup zone. They won't follow cutters in a 2 3 zone. It's strictly too high, 3 low. Packing that paint. 
There's early down low, spins Ooh. and hits. Is that That's nice? solid right there. The ability wow. to, 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 to get off the deck and to get into the air to give him some, some comfort and some vision at the basket is special. Jake White could not guard the ball on that particular play. And that's twice he's gotten beaten up top with the dribble. And what's tough about Garden Fitzgerald that he can step out there and shoot the three. And then White comes back and turns it over. Get out on Fletcher, that guy can shoot the three. And the foul against White. Hey, tough up and down for Jake White. And that'll put Fitzgerald at the line to shoot two. Air Force, they, they've got to find a way to knock down free throws. Yep. Talked about Fitzgerald a lot in this ball game. He has been outstanding with 13 points, six of eight shooting the basketball. He's got one three-pointer. He's had at least a, one three-pointer in every game this season. He's number nine all time in three point percentage in Air Force history. 6'6 six, six senior out of Centerfield, Minnesota. Craig mentioned it at the first half. This is a senior laden, experienced team for the Air Force Academy. They were picked dead last in the Mountain West Conference, but have gotten off to a tremendous start at six and one. Now they're tied for their best start in school history. These five seniors, actually more than seven on the team, but the five starters, this is the team that, that isn't gonna give up. They're gonna keep attacking you. This Shaw State is keep grinding this second half out, and finish this game strong, taking care of the basketball. Playing good, solid defense. Great job by Malcolm Armstead of, of guarding that back cut. Didn't allow his man to get behind him. Kept him in front. Three ball coming, Fitzgerald. He's feeling it, he's hot. Came off a hot game, scored 13 in the last game, and he's carried over to today. And the Air Force Academy has their first lead of the second half. Early, down low, Lions fouled him. So Clay Anthony Early, an 86% free throw shooter, will be at the line shooting two. Good look down low, good catch. He's got to get it done on the other end. His man in Fitzgerald was the one who spotted up on the three. He cannot lose him. A guy that hot, you have to stick with him and don't let him get out of your sight. Anthony's played a lot of minutes out there tonight. He and Hall both. 6'8 junior out of Middleton, New York. Averaging 14 points, six and a half rebounds a game in 22 and a third minutes. Trying to tie the game up and does. He's still fighting that ankle injury. I don't, I don't think he's 100%. Did not get to the free throw line against Tulsa. Wasn't attacking the basket like he normally does. He's not wearing that brace on his left ankle as he was in the game against Tulsa. And he's got 10 points. I'll say extending that defense a little. Armstead working against Lions. There's Shooter right there in Fitzgerald, or at least Ooh, today, at his pick. Armstead looking to finish. Couldn't get it. Demetric Williams and a fresh 35 to shoot. Night hustle by Fitzgerald of getting back on defense. Got his pocket picked. Didn't give up on the play. Carl Hall, and he couldn't get it that time. That's his first miss of the ball game. Eight of nine now from the floor. Nothing to choose from between the Falcons and the Shockers. He's played about 28 minutes in this one. Lions. Nice D by Wessel, not allowing him to get attacked closer to the basket, bodied him up. Forcing him to shoot a fadeaway. Great stuff. Great pass from Malcolm Armstead and Carl Hall with a new career high 20 points. Yeah, I like that Armstead. It, it was a fast feed. He didn't wait for Carl Hall to create more space and get deeper in the paint. Threw it to him right away with the bounce pass. 
which allowed Carl Hall to go up instantly. Early is on the switch with Lions now. Down low. Good job by Evan Wessel and Carl Hall to knock the ball away. Yeah, Ethan Michael, a guy who doesn't play a lot of minutes, only played in five games this year. Did a good job of getting deep, and I like Carl Hall playing without fouling. He might have got away with some steps. Might have. And then drew the foul. Foul is going to go against Cameron Michael, the 6'5 freshman out of Loveland. Wichita State up to and a chance to improve it. Time. Time out. Time out for a substitution. Okay, everybody in. Whoa, whoa, too many people on the court. This is the Patterson legal team. Lawyers, expert witnesses, paralegals, all with great credentials. All at once? All this. And we get nothing until you get paid. If you're injured, you're going to want them all. I. I gotta check the rule book. Only one rule. We get our clients every dollar they deserve. All right. Gary Patterson team, all in. Okay, guys, let's play ball. I really got passionate about health and fitness in the Marine Corps. And when I got home, I was looking at the Wichita State website, and I came across the exercise science program. The staff there at Wichita State had some really good relationships with the community, so they were able to make a lot of connections for us. With cooperative education, I was able to realize I'm just a hands-on person. I don't think that you can overestimate the importance of on-the-job training. Experience-based learning opportunities at Wichita State are phenomenal. It allows you to take all of these things that you're learning in class and immediately start applying them to real-world situations. Because of that experience, I have my own health club. I train people a lot one-on-one. -on -one. This is exactly what I've been called to do, and this is really what fits into where I want to be for the rest of my life. Absolutely, Chamber of Commerce day today out here in Colorado Springs. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Pretty clear throughout the day. Mountain West Missouri Valley Conference challenge. They're in the last of a four year deal in the remaining games. Illinois State will host Wyoming. Northern Iowa faces UNLV later in the season, courtesy of Simpson Construction Services. Valley really dominated that series a year ago, not so this year. Yeah, I think it's been a great package for the Valley in all facets. Being able to go on the road in, in, a, in a pretty good conference yeah. that has some good teams in it. UNLV, San Diego State, Nevada, they've been in the tournament. Yeah. Carl short arms the first one. Paul with 20 points. Two of four now from the line. Carl Hall and Clay Anthony Early have kept the Shockers in this thing offensively. And Hall knocks it down. Utah State outscoring Air Force 32-28 in the point in the paint and 13 to 6 off the bench. A little pressure in backcourt. And then a quick double team. Gail Cotton with the kick. David Hall makes the whistle. 26 seconds to shoot for the Air Force Academy. Like Star check, Michael Lyons, 2 of 13, 0 for 5 from three-point range with four points. They've run a bunch of guys at Lyons tonight. It's Kale Cotton on them right now. Yeah, I, like, I like the sense of urgency by Wichita State on both ends of the court, especially defensively. You see Tekel Cotton getting after it with Michael Lyons. Very physical, I like it. Very physical. The two of them are getting after it. Talking about Takeo Cotton and Michael Lyons. Second on Takeo, fourth team foul in the second half. Hey, hey, hey. 
and Demetrik Williams. And that was just obvious right in front of the official. Cameron Michael was trying to get across the lane on the inbounds play. There's Lyons. Another chance. Passes it up. Good offensive rebound that time by Trey Coggins. Earls down low with the hook. And then the foul. Great job yeah. by Evan Wessel defensively. And Evan has done a nice job a couple of times tonight of not giving any ground down low. He's done a good job around the block. Well, 6'5", 221, very strong. Has the ability to, to man up against guys, use his chest, use his strength, to not allow guys to back him down. And, and once again, there's been several possessions where I think the Shockers have been smart by defending without fouling. Halfway through the second half. Halfway home here. Tough skip pass. Armstead, Wessel. Kale Cotton, you bet. And that's how you work both sides of the court. Kale Cotton makes a long pass to Demetri Williams, which did an outstanding catch of even grabbing it. And then they switch it, swing it all the way back to Kale Cotton. He's improved his offense nicely in the offseason. He's coming off back-to-back eight-point games. He's got six here tonight on three-for-three three shooting. Yeah, he's the guy who shot at 50% last year. He's a little ways away from that shooting at 36, but you're right, Bruce. His last few games has been night eight points, new career high at eight rebounds in that ball game, doing the little things and knocking down shots. Dimitri for three. Bang, and the Shockers are on a 10-0 run in the last three plus minutes. You said it, Bruce, that's what they need to do. If this team can get up six, seven, or eight points, and then their momentum and their energy on the defensive end, they can extend this ball game. Nice, nice timeout. Timeout on the floor. Shockers with their largest lead inside of 10 minutes to play. It's hard to believe that it's already been 10 years since our grandpa moved the Ford dealership out west. We've really enjoyed celebrating our 10-year anniversary. With our employees and our customers. Now when you hear about Mel Hamlin on the floor, it's hard not to think of the big corner. And all of our wonderful amenities. Like enjoying our computers while you wait. Or having a delicious sandwich at the diner when you're hungry. And always being greeted with a smile. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. From our family to yours. We're very happy to be We finally got Cox high-speed internet, so now there's way less buffering time in our house. But now there's... Bandwidth, baby! Woo! Look at that! Streaming, gaming, downloading all at the same time as a family! We're number one! Randy, hey. we just got Cox High Speed Internet. Try not to be jealous. Hey! Bandwidth! We yeah. have it too. Switch to Cox High Speed Internet and get speeds two times faster than basic DSL. Order today and upgrade your speed for just $5 more per month. Switch to Cox today. Phone company? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you how you're doing and not listen to the answer. How are you? Not good. Great. Look, my phone and internet are acting up. Now I'm gonna ask you a question that's gonna make you feel dumb. How many gigahertz modem where bytes does your server have? Now I'm gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Four to six weeks. Want great service? Upgrade to Cox Business. Ranked highest in customer satisfaction. Only Cox Business has speeds that work for you. Switch today. Well, we finally got Cox Whole Home DVR, which in our house, of course, means... Whole Home Party! DVR in the kitchen, what? That means we can record our shows and watch them in any room. I'm recording four of my favorite shows and your mom's watching her cooking show all at the same time. Are you watching something you recorded? I was about to. Whole Home Party! Get a free upgrade to Cox Advanced TV with a free HD receiver for three months today. Don't forget to ask about Whole Home DVR so you can watch what you want, where you want. Switch to Cox today. A few hundred Shocker fans in attendance tonight. Your Delta Dental game reset. Wichita State up by eight. Have a full complement of timeouts remaining. Both teams with five fouls. The Shockers have the possession arrow as well. Shockers have held the Air Force Academy with no field goals for the last four minutes. During that time, 0 for 4 from the field with a turnover for the Falcons. who are shooting 44%. This is a team during the season that comes in shooting 52%. Carl 
Hall with the foul, and that's three on Carl. So Craig Marshall is going to have to be aware of that. Hall with 21 points and six rebounds tonight on big night, big nine night. of 10 shooting. Brooke Heiss has had a nice night, 11 points on four of six shooting, but just three of six from the line. He's not the kind of rebounder that you'd expect from a 6'10 player. He's kind of a nice finesse guy, and he can yeah. shoot inside out. He's a three-point shooter as well at 6'10. Hills locally from Colorado Springs, and he follows his pattern of knocking down one of the two free throws. Yeah, very finesse player. Started off the season very well, scored a lot of points. He's kind of gotten into a little slump, breaking out of that a little tonight. Armstead for three, big one. Great ball movement, crisp passing. Working his side to side. Shockers have really come out last four or five minutes and just really being efficient on the offensive end. Well, and they're shooting 60%. And then the offensive foul, they're gonna wave it off. John Higgins with the whistle. Kyle Green called for the offensive foul, player control foul. Great job by Takale Cotton down low. Yep. Great job by Tekel. His man goes on the baseline, spots that his man gets beat at the top of the key. Great position outside the arch. Draws tough plays. Yeah, just outside that little arch in there where you can't be called for a charge. Great job by Tekel Cotton. Shocker with the basketball and up 10 suddenly. Wichita State shooting at 60% for the game. And they're playing a team that's second in the country knocking down threes and Wichita State has, has kind of gave them a taste of their own medicine the last few possessions of knocking their own threes. Of course that's one reason you can't go to sleep on them either. Nice move to the baseline and then the foul. He's going to go against Dakale Cotton. He's shooting free throws when we come back with Kyle Green. Wichita State up 10. Time. Time out. Time out for a substitution. Okay, everybody in. Whoa, whoa, too many people on the court. This is the Patterson Legal Team. Lawyers, expert witnesses, paralegals, all with great credentials. All at once? All this, and we get nothing until you get paid. If you're injured, you're gonna want them all. I, I gotta check the rule book. Only one rule, we get our clients every dollar they deserve. All right, Gary Patterson team, all in. Okay, guys, let's play ball. Go six, eight, seven, two, four, oh, oh. I really got passionate about health and fitness in the Marine Corps. And when I got home, I was looking at the Wichita State website, and I came across the exercise science program. The staff there at Wichita State had some really good relationships with the community, so they were able to make a lot of connections for us. With cooperative education, I was able to realize I'm just a hands-on person. I don't think that you can overestimate the importance of on-the-job training. Experience-based learning opportunities at Wichita State are phenomenal. It allows you to take all of these things that you're learning in class and immediately start applying them to real-world situations. Because of that experience, I have my own health club. I train people a lot one-on-one. -on -one. This is exactly what I've been called to do, and this is really what fits into where I want to be for the rest of my life. Shockers up 10 in the second half and doing it with great ball movement, courtesy of our Bud Light plays of the game. Yeah, you don't do it any better than this textbook. Chris passing, fast passing to Kel Carton, starts it at one end, cross course baseline pass, comes all the way back to him on the other end, and Demetrius Williams, once again, almost looks like the exact same play. Finds Williams this time instead of Cotton. Like I said, textbook basketball, you cannot draw it up any better. Tremendous ball movement by the Shockers. Earls knocks it down, and that's news in and of itself. 
the level has only just two free throws in his 13 attempts this season. Yeah, he knocked both of those down like he does it every single time. Hard to believe a team like Air Force that is so fundamentally sound has problems shooting free throws. It, it doesn't fit the <laughs> dynamic, you know? It's probably because they're so fatigued for how all the sets they're running, how hard they run their offensive sets and all the movement that they have. Shockers cross the timeline with a couple of seconds to spare. Now with the basketball and an eight point lead. Wessel along with Demetric Williams. There's Malcolm Armstead. Ron Baker back into the game for the Shockers. Wessel from the corner, air mailed it. Baker with a fresh, nope, no, it didn't hit rim. So Armstead for three. And the Shockers miss a couple of chances there. Yeah, two good looks at the basket. If it misses the basket, of course, the shot clock continues. If it had brushed the rim, the Shockers would have gotten a fresh 35, and then the foul is going to go against Evan Wessel on the hold as the big fella, Brooke Heiss, goes back door and back to the line. Yeah, nice call by John Higgins. He official. Wessel knew he was beat, had to grab him. Probably a smart foul. Gets a team that doesn't shoot the, the free throw, obviously, very well. Don't give him an easy bucket. I'll tell you what, Greg Marshall, the, the luxury of a deep bench. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he, he keeps funneling guys in and out, in and out. Well, you've got five players for Air Force who have played 16 minutes or more. You have four players who have played 26 minutes or more. Wichita State has nine players that have played 12 minutes or more, but no one has played more than 21 minutes. So spreading the wealth and the miss of the free throw inside of seven minutes now. Extending that defense a little. Ooh, Baker shake. all the way oh. with a bucket. How nice was that? Ron Baker with his seventh and eighth points. From a defensive perspective, you know he's a three point specialist. And the ability to use the shot fake, then the crossover, then the teardrop. That was a pretty play. Ten has been the Shockers' largest lead. Fitzgerald almost had it stripped. And then Brookheis. Taylor Brookheis has had a nice ball game today. 14 points. Trails only Fitzgerald for top honors. And Fleet with a little delay and then the pop back out to Hurley. <laughs> it's a round thing. You, need <laughs> you might have needed a fork to catch that one. Looking to get the ball down low to Carl Hall. And then Armstead lost yeah. control, and Lee Anthony Early couldn't rise to the occasion. Uh, Baker known for shooting his three. Nice job by Van Fleet. Just so good at getting in the paint. A little shot fake and then the crossover. Look at the teardrop over the 6'10. Brooke Heis gets it to fall. That's good stuff. The ball fake, then the crossover. So two very nice fundamental moves. Eight point game. Air Force trying to get back in it. Three ball on the way. Shockers, not only have they held Mike Lyons in check, but Fletcher, he's a guy that, that's a big time three point specialist, distributes the ball well. They've held him in check for the most part also. I think what the Shockers have done better in the second half, they've kept their defenders in front of them. And I, and I thought in the first half, guys were getting behind them, and that's when Air Force was having the ability to get the basketball behind the defense and score, which kept that first pass close. Demetric Williams is in for Malcolm Armstead. Fred Van Fleet will defend the pass inbounds. Shockers with backcourt pressure. Looking to extend possessions a little bit for Air Force as time becomes a factor. Still plenty left in this game in an eight point game. Boy, they had Fitzgerald for the three. Passed it up. I don't know why he passed it up. Guy's yeah. been on fire. Air Force got exactly what they wanted. That needs to be a shot. He needs to step up and knock it down. Then takes a contested wrap around, and Shockers defended at the block. 
Warriors need a basket here. Ron Baker, and they turn it over instead. Chakas have turned it over three straight times. I like the idea of Ron Baker wanting to get in the paint, but I thought he could have stepped up and shot the three. Boy, Shocker's out by 10 and then have turned it over three consecutive times. Air Force right back in this game. Yep. They've okay. got to keep defending, keep guarding, and rebound it. Rebound the ball. That's what they've been struggling doing. Coach Dave Pilipovich is stressed. We have got to rebound the basketball better. This is not a smart play. Fallon that far away from the basket. Van Fleet wouldn't do anything with the basketball. So Van Fleet will be at the line to shoot one in the bonus here. Friday, 75% free throw shooter, the freshman out of Rockford, Illinois. Looking for his first points of the ball game, coming off a 9.4 rebound, five assists, and three steal night against Tulsa. Doing all of that in 17 minutes. Shockers miss a chance to score. I like his game, Van Fleet. Yeah, He's me too. Smooth. He can go slow to fast, good vision. I really like his patience with the dribbling of the basketball. Just a five point game. Make it three. Shockers have lost their offensive rhythm, and Air Force is right back in it. That yeah, Coach Marshall's got to get a timeout. And he has. So a 7 0 run over the last two minutes and 17 seconds has given Air Force life when the Shockers looked that they had just about started to put this thing away. And Air Force has shot the ball very nicely, and the Shockers have helped facilitate that by three consecutive turnovers. Yeah, Mike Lyons, a guy who's been struggling all night, but a good shooter, put it this way, a good score, never stopped shooting. And that was a big three for his ball club. And they found a way to get a couple stops on the defensive end. One thing Coach Filipovich likes to do out of timeouts defensively is trap guys on the side. So look at them to extend uh, that, that matchup zone and then trap. Shockers had to be cognizant, be strong with the basketball, find open guys. Wichita State just trying to get out of here with a win. It's been a grind all day long against a very plucky Air Force ball club. This team's going to win some games in the Mountain West Conference. It's got some nice combinations of players. Not a particularly deep bench. They've got some guys that can score. Let's see what Greg Marshall has worked up out of the timeout. Air Force back in that matchup zone. Sticking with cutters, sticking with shooters, extending it. And let Dimitri work in. Carl Hall down low, in the double team, three ball on the way, big Woo! hit. Dietrich Williams with a big triple at the right time. Shock. And he's done that in his career at Wichita State. He hits big shots at big times, especially over the 6'10". Elected to go down low to Carl Hall. Nice job by Carl Hall, giving it back up. Good patience. Just too easy. Carl Hall's played it some minutes, and he's sucking a little bit of wind. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. No, I think all five guys on the court are sucking wind right now. On both sides. Yep. So the Shockers can't get a stop inside of three minutes now with a four-point lead. On a work clock. Cotton for three. Nice play by Michael Fischiero putting the ball on the floor so it doesn't turn it over. Nice move down low and then the foul against Demetrius Williams. Good strong move right there by Deluxe Earls and he'll be shooting free throws when we come back. This thing isn't done yet. We finally got the bundle from Cox. And now that our TV, phone, and internet are working together, and my dad has gone a little bundle crazy. Ha! Ah, see that? Phone and TV working together. It's Aunt Shirley calling right there on the television. Shouldn't we answer it? You want to talk to Shirley? Tyler, look at this. I'm watching three different shows at the same time. Why? Bundle. With the Cox Bundle, you get everything you want at a price you'll love. Cox TV, digital telephone, and internet with speeds two times faster than basic DSL. Switch to Cox today. Well, we finally got Cox Whole Home DVR, which in our house, of course, means... Whole Home Party! DVR in the kitchen, what? That means we can record our shows and watch them in any room. 
I'm recording four of my favorite shows and your mom's watching her cooking show all at the same time. Are you watching something you recorded? I was about to. Whole home party! Get a free upgrade to Cox Advanced TV with a free HD receiver. Plus, don't forget about whole home DVR so you can record your favorites and watch them in any room. Switch to Cox today. Well, we finally got Cox whole home DVR, which in our house, of course, means... Whole home party! DVR in the kitchen, what? That means we can record our shows and watch them in any room. I'm recording four of my favorite shows and your mom's watching her cooking show all at the same time. Are you watching something you recorded? I was about to. Whole home party! Get a free upgrade to Cox Advanced TV with a free HD receiver for three months today. Don't forget to ask about whole home DVR so you can watch what you want, where you want. Switch to Cox today. Shockers had a really nice run to get out by 10 a couple of times, but their last nine trips, four turnovers, now 16 in the ball game. They have done a much better job in the second half, which is six turnovers in the second half and two of five from the floor. One of those two, a huge three from Demetric Williams, but they are up 65-61. Air Force will be shooting free throws when we come back. 18 points for Mike Fitzgerald. 16 for Taylor Brookheis. Michael Lyons, the star offensively for Air Force, coming in averaging nearly 22 points a game. Three of 15, one of six from three-point range for four points. Far and away, his most frustrating night offensively for Air Force. Shockers are paced by the 21 points and nine rebounds of Carl Hall. Wichita State up by four. Two minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Shockers shooting 57%. They're holding Air Force to 47%. Air Force has scored 19 points off of Shocker turnovers. Yeah, I was just going to say, Bruce, just under two and a half left to go in this game. Air Force is at the free throw line. They can cut it within two. Shockers have to be very patient with the basketball and take care of it. Do not turn off. Get a great shot. Air Force is playing with a lot of confidence. They've gotten themselves back in this ball game. Momentum has kind of shifted in their favor. Shockers have to take care of it and get a good look. They've been successful of starting the rock down low in the paint. And obviously you've seen the big shot by Demix Williams of Carl Hall kicking it back out. Officials are having a problem. They've been huddled up. Something's going on. Now they're calling both coaches together. I don't know if there was an altercation between a couple players. Potentially looking at uh, maybe De, De Lavelle Earls throwing an elbow. Well, let's take a look. The, the last to, uh, the last foul was committed by yeah, Demetric Demi Williams. It looks like looks like Earls might have thrown an elbow to Williams going up to score the basket. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't think that's that intentional. Looks, that sure. looks inadvertent, but who am I to judge? David Hall right there with the whistle. Had a pretty good look at it. Should have been an offensive foul. <laughs> <laughs> You're begging. Uh, Wichita State with three timeouts remaining. Although they got a long break with this timeout. Three for Air Force as well. Here's David Hall for an explanation, and so he's giving it to Craig Steven right now. We'll get a full ex accounting from him in a moment. Wichita State shooting 59% in the second half. 1,793 in attendance tonight. So we're going to shoot two now. They've taken everybody off the lane, and let's get an explanation from Craig. Yeah, they're giving... Up the, there's the foul on Demetric Williams, and then they're given the flagrant one on Earl. So WSU will come down on the other end, and they'll shoot their free throws. It will be Wichita State's basketball after the free throws by Demetric Williams. So Demetric will shoot a couple. So the officials perceived the elbow to be intentional. Earls, by the way, with four straight free throws here to keep Air Force in this thing. Demetri Williams now with 2.29 remaining. Ooh, and he sure. short arms the first one. So it will be a one possession game regardless of the outcome of this free throw. Yeah. 
And Dimitri gets it through. Ten points for Dimitri Williams, who's in double figures, the third shocker in double figures, along with Carl Hall and Anthony Early. Gosh, coming into today, Dimitri Williams was 9 of 10 from the free throw line. Ron Baker back into the game for Wichita State. Takale Cotton sits down. Gives the Shockers a more offensive look in the lineup. The Air Force picking up full. And trapping backcourt. pressure. Shockers break it. Three good ball handlers in the game with Baker, Dimitri Williams, and Malcolm Armstead. Shockers need a bucket for a two-possession game. The pass. Oh, and Anthony Early couldn't handle it. I think the lob was there, Bruce. I think if yep. Dimitri would have thrown the lob, Early would have been able to go get it. 17th turnover against Wichita State. Season high. I think a lot of that has to do with not seeing, obviously, we're early in the season. Uh, we're just cracking into December. Uh, playing you know, something you don't see a lot of with that matchup. Extended zone where they follow cutters through where they can switch screens. Shockers just had a tough time getting used to it. And then maybe some fatigue has set in. It's Two very mark. tough to defend this basketball team. Brook Heist down low has been good all night, but a good miss right there. Great job defensively by Carl Hall. Got him off the block a little bit and had him shooting the ball, fading away instead of going straight up. Yeah, certainly. Brook Heist has got to go to the basket. That's a tough shot for him to make and give credit to Carl Hall. Shockers have not played in a lot of close games. Their average margin of victory, 14 and a half. Obviously, the notable exception, the road win at Virginia Commonwealth. And on the other side, Air Force, they're, at, they're winning games by an average of 17 points. Offensive foul on Ron Baker, and the Shockers turn it over again. My goodness. Boy, Shockers had numbers. Pass the ball here, and you get an easy basket. Yeah, I'd like to see Ron Baker step up and shoot that 15-footer. You've got Kyle Hall that goes through the glass extremely well on the offensive end. Turnovers, turnovers. It's been hot in Wichita State. I thought they came out the first 10, 12 minutes of this ball yeah. game. Only had three turnovers, Bruce. Much better. But the last five, six minutes, that's changed. Timeout. Air Force. Air Force will take timeout on the floor. So a minute 16 left, one possession game, 66-63. And... Air Force has given Wichita State all they want in this ball game here today. And Air Force, it doesn't, it doesn't get any easier for this team. They have a tough schedule. They play seven opponents that were in the NCAA tournament last year, Wichita State being one of them. This is a great test for them, but it's going to come down on the wire. Minute 16 left, shocks up three. Wichita State's next action Saturday at home against well, the state of Colorado. Northern Colorado comes in. And will it be on the heels of a win or a loss for Wichita State? Three point game with a buck 16 remaining. Possession arrow belongs to Wichita State. Air Force is in the double bonus. The Shockers still in the single. Boy, Demetri Williams almost got himself a turnover. Demetri Williams was so good defensively, so fast. Nice job by Demetri Williams. That was a bucket. Malcolm Armstead guarding a 6'10", and Demetri Williams sees it, goes and gets it. Guys diving on the floor. Both teams you what, getting what after it. Good stuff. Shockers had enough guys on the floor to come away with it. Evan Wessel. A little worse for the wear. Look at Wessel go down. Carl Hall going down. Malcolm Armstead comes up with it before he's knocked off balance. Just, anyway, oh. Dimitri Williams saved a play. 6'10 on six feet. The Malcolm Armstead and then coming up with it. That's the plays you need to win on the road right there. The tough ones. So Evan Wessel makes the play along with Dimitri Williams. Now back on the other end. Malcolm Armstead will shoot one and the bonus. One Armstead. Armstead, the six foot senior out of Florence, Alabama, just a 63% free throw shooter coming in. But he knocks it down when he had to. Armstead hit a big triple in this ball game as well. It calmly steps up. 
Knocks it down. Two big ones for Malcolm Armstead. Shockers at the free throw line, just eight of 12, and then a quick foul on the other end. It's gonna go against Armstead, and two shots coming for Air Force. Air Force getting the basketball up quick along the sideline. Didn't use a lot of clock at all, drawing the foul. And then Lyons at the line is no bonus for Wichita State. 70% free throw shooter. Coming in today, twice as many free throw attempts than any other player. You said it, Bruce, not shooting it well. Poor 67%. Nothing but net there. Air Force starting to pick up their percentage a little bit. 12 of 22. They've outscored the Shockers by four points at the line, but have had 10 more chances at the line to score than Wichita State has. Greg Marshall substituting offensively as Clee Anthony early checks back in for Wichita State along with Ron Baker. Evan Wessel holding those left or those right ribs just a little bit as he is attended to on the bench. Yeah, he got whacked pretty good. But I'll tell you what, he's tough. He'll get through it. So back to a one possession game. Turnover and a three pointer away from being tied. Shockers are probably gonna have to knock down some free throws at the end of this thing. Armstead to Hall, Clamp in the early to finish. Great vision, way to keep your head always looking up the court. Oh, Ron Baker almost forced a turnover. Brooke Heiss, deep three ball coming. Got it, and he got foul, woo! Nope, didn't, didn't call, call the no, foul. No, I thought they called it, good. Yep, called the timeout. Big three ball though from Michael Lyons from way beyond the arc, knocks it down and makes it the two point game with 30 seconds left. Yeah, he's hit two from that spot. Great job against the pressure. Play yeah. Anthony Early with the finish. Great look. Air Force just committing too early in that press, not realizing what they have behind him. And Mike Lyons is second three from the same spot. But that one was about two feet deeper. Keeping his team in this ball game, down two. Shockers have got to possess the ball. They have to value the ball here with 30.3 seconds remaining. Yeah, Air Force, can't. you cannot let anything get deep. Uh, I don't think you need a foul early. If you can get yourself in a trap situation, Try to force an early turnover. This ball gets past half court, you've got to foul immediately. Now having said that, the next foul against Air Force puts Wichita State in the double bonus. The baseline is available for Ron Baker against full court pressure. Early gets caught in the corner, and then gives it up. Malcolm Armstead getting it back, and Cleant and Early just not strong with the basketball. You know they're coming, Bruce. You have got to know they're coming. You got his elbows up, physical with the ball. And Evan Wessel checking in, and Cleant and Early will sit down. Boy, Cleant and he just, I'm not sure what he was waiting for with that ball particularly. Don't allow the trap to come to you. You got to distribute the ball and get rid of it. So big turnover from early, and Air Force has the basketball with 23 seconds left in a two-point game. The Shockers' 19th turnover of the ball game, trying to win this in spite of themselves tonight. Yeah, the question, boys. My goodness. Lyons has worked every single bit for his 12 points, 16 shots. But I'll tell you what, he's done some damage here in the second half. He's hit both of his three-pointers here in the second half. That last one was a big one to get it back to within two instead of five. Air Force has used their last timeout. Shockers have timeouts to use. If Air Force does not get a quick shot, you have to be aware of the dribble, bounce pass to the back door. They've been really good at that. They were extremely successful in the first half. Wichita State has counteract. They've kept the defender in front of them. They have to do that this possession. I was a little surprised Wichita State didn't use the home run on that yeah, last I thought, play. I thought Malcolm Armstead was open. Yeah, they had, they had, Air Force had everybody in the uh, forecourt on that particular play. And Greg Marshall has done such a great job with that play over the years. 
But here we go, two point game. Air Force with possession after the Shocker turnover. To Kale Cotton, he's in on Lions. You've got Carl Hall, Ron Baker, Evan Wessel, and Demetric Williams. About as good a defensive five as you can have for Wichita State. You want to play here without fouling. Shot clock is off. Brookheis down low. Tough shot. Need a rebound. Baker couldn't come away with it. Lions. Brookheis under the basket. Couldn't get a foul. a foul. Shockers could not get a rebound off of the miss. How they couldn't come up. I don't know why Air Force was in such a hurry, though. They could have gathered themselves and maybe potentially got themselves a better shot. But I thought Fletcher kind of threw up a, yeah, a, a bad shot on the baseline. Hurried it a little bit, didn't he? Yeah, there was no need to do that. But he, yeah, he's a guy that could put up points, averages almost 12 a game, and then that didn't need to be done. But I'll tell you what, how about Air Force coming up with the basketball and Greg Marshall doing a little dancing on the sideline. Oh, no! And then Shockers commit the foul. Brookheis at the line tonight has been there a lot. Four of eight. He needs to get two free throws to tie this thing up, and he breaks the first. But you've got to make this one. Still eight seconds left. The Shockers have to inbounds, have got to possess the basketball. They turned it over right off the inbounds last time they had it. Yeah, the foul's coming immediately. Have to be physical. You have to be strong with the ball. Brooke Ice with 16 points, but four of nine from the line. Oh, the, the, with the amount of turnovers Wichita State has committed, this team, Air Force, a different ball game if they can make their free throws. Yeah, no question. Well, we're probably not having this discussion. No. <laughs> Talk about icing your free throw shooter. Come on, Air Force. And they get it back to the configuration that they had before all of the movement. Brooke Heiss. Wrong again. Ooh, got the, got the shooter's roll. All right, let's see who puts this in. Play. It'll be Ron Baker. We'll be putting it into play. He does have movement along the baseline. Let's see what the Shockers come up with. Quick oh. foul on Malcolm Armstead. He and Lyons battling for position, and Malcolm Armstead will go back. What that one free throw does is make it, at the very worst, a one-possession game for the Air Force Academy with 7.6 seconds remaining. Ar Armstead needs to knock these things down to make it a three-point game. Malcolm shoots a look over our way and nods his head. He's ready for this position. And in Wichita State's favor, Air Force has no timeout. They've got to get the ball up in a hurry. And based on what happens in this next free throw by Armstead, either they drive all the way, all the way to the basket or they have to put up a three. It'll be interesting to see if Wichita State uses a foul if they get this free throw down. Rick Marshall might call a timeout on the make. He's going to let it go. Does it? Here we go. Armstead looked for the strip. What's he doing? Got to shoot it. And then Lyons gets the shot. <laughs> oh, and Wichita State wins it at the end. Greg Marshall not happy with that last defensive possession for Wichita State. I think he wanted the foul. I think he wanted a foul on the uh, on the sideline. Did not get it. You know, Lions it, had a look at it, had a chance to tie it and send it to overtime, but the Shockers get a win. They got it to their best player. Maybe not their best player shooting tonight at Michael Lyons, but a guy shooting extremely well from the three on the season. That ball was right on line, short. Could play a lot of minutes. Fatigue set in a little bit. What a game, this, what a finish to this game. Wichita State finds a way, 22 and three on the road. Best in the country of winning ball games on the road. Tremendous job, tremendous heart. Seems tough, fun to watch. Carl Hall, your Cox Communications player of the game. His fourth double-double of the season, a new career high. 21 points to go with two assists and a steal. Carl Hall, your Cox Communications player of the game. Wichita State improves to 8-0 and oh by the skin of their teeth. Surviving, really, here more than anything else, I think, Craig. Surviving 19 turnovers in the game. A little tradition here at Air Force. Both 
teams remaining on the floor for this moment. It's been a real pleasure and honor even to do a game no at one of the service academies. Everybody has been oh. well beyond comforting, Hosp nice. Hospitality's been outstanding. So Wichita State wins it 72 to 69 and improved to 8-0 heading home to take on Northern Colorado on Saturday. For my broadcast partner, Craig Steven, this is Bruce Hurdle saying so long. Wichita State, a 72-69 winner. See you next time. We all want to be a part of something big, of moments that matter. Coke companies and our employees are committed to making a difference in the community through financial support and volunteer services that empower others to succeed. From how you live to the way you live, we strive to make each community we call home a better place for this generation and the next. Coke Industries, transforming our communities, transforming daily life. myself. My husband never used to talk on the phone, but now that we're saving $10 a month with Cox Digital Telephone... Hello? Hi. I'm saving $10 every month. Hey, $10 every month. Now maybe she can quit that dead-end job. Honey, I'm expecting a call from my boss, so... Oh, could... this is your boss. I'm saving $10 every month. Who are you talking to? It's a wrong number. What do they want? Nothing. I called them. Get Cox Digital Telephone for just $9.99 a month with free pro installation and save $10 every month. Switch to Cox today. This is something new. Verizon Wireless is teaming up with Cox. So sign up to complete your Cox bundle and get Verizon Wireless, plus a great offer. Visit your local Verizon Wireless or Cox Solutions store or call 877-979-6462 to sign up and you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card by mail. Verizon Wireless and Cox. TV, internet, home phone, and wireless. One idea leads to another. Make every room a TV room. Now watch live TV on your iPad in any room of your house with Cox TV Connect. When you need TV in more ways and in more places, we're there. Download the app now, free.